and it is a, a champion that people have been banning for top lane. Uh, but either way, we're going to see how Immortals is going to do. They have a very strong draft, I think, on both. Perhaps even look for a dive on, on Haunter. Oh, they stopped the base. They're going to go for a dive. They're going to try. They're actually looking to get a dive on him at 430. Quite early in this one, they're going to push this minion wave in. Yeah, Maokai needs to push it. Maokai needs to start the dive, then use his W to drop it. They're going to see if they can do it. Shield up. There's one. Gets courage, but he still goes down. Will he get out? Immortals coming up very huge on this one. Very big. Great knowledge from Jack coming from Hermes there. And now Bjergsen getting caught in the mid lane. Flash is over. Looks like he could be safe here. Ragnarok is on. One more undertow. He's going to bring him in range. Oh, he turns it as the Ragnarok wears off. Nice. Which reduces it even that much further. So you can use that ghost kind of whenever you want. Get onto Ali so he can't lock anybody up. Cobalter tries to come in and deter the fight. Stardock ready to go once again. He gets melted immediately as Svenskaren turns it around. He gets himself back in this game. That's the bus going over as well. Refresh for Svenskaren on the bus and two pills for the team. 50 boots? Not something you would see, but Immortals looking to set up a three man dive. Svenskaren is here though. Turret or no turret, it looks like they're going. Arrow just misses on the left side. Everybody is out of the turret range for now. They're going to oh, be able to take down Total Total Belser. Since Karen flashes in to try to get the slows, the attacks, the red buff procs. They're going to have to turn for Dardock. Dardock gets his bus back, but I don't think it'll happen for very long. Undertow hits, and nobody's going to get these ones. No, it's the hit on Turtle. He may live. Turtle flashes forward to clean it up, and the buffs keep going. Pink Ward that T Immortals has in try did not spot it, but there they're going. Nether grabs, lock him down, exhaust as well, and that is going to be Dardock face tanking the Ash Arrow. Undertow onto Biofrost. A few more hits as Svenskaren is here to try and deter them from the fight, but he may just become part of it. More for picks, and I think that, you know, Immortals is more just a run at you straight front to back toward a sort of team composition. Slowly walk towards you as you're slowed. Can't do much. Riptide is out. It's only going to slow him so much. Pobelter comes around. He starts picking up a few more. And it's from the 80 carries are going to kind of change that around as well. As Hauntzer may get ran down here. It does have his flash, but I don't know if he's going anywhere. Flames on the top side. He's only going to hold towards mid. Pings are coming out. It looks oh. like Bjergsen actually wants to fight in the river here as Hauntzer's getting taken down. In the mid lane flashes. Stays alive, but they look ready to take him down. The shield. Is not enough to stop that. This fight in the mid lane has got Svenskaren low once again. He just came back from getting himself healthy. The oh, arrow to Cody Sun. Oh, Ale leaves Cody Sun out to dry for a quick second. And now it's going to be Ale too because he stayed. Oh, kills all over the map, but it's a triple for Wild. <laughs> You're not my sport anymore. Oh, no, that's why. Ooh. <laughs> TSM is waiting. Is Syndra Elite? That has to kind of be built up. Good pick here from TSM. Well, they look to respect and help Paul Belter on this one. He does get the safety. Flame gets himself in. He is very, very tanky, and he is right on the front line. This is the fight that IMT wants. Turtle, however, getting good shots on a Dardock. He's got to turn around, and great step back. Great kiting by TSM to turn this fight back. Good staff's done. Uh, they're both up three items. There's the flash engage on a Turtle. Denying a little bit more of that vision. It's just... Just on the edge here, Biofrost will be the first in to start off some free damage. Sven on the side, he looks... Sven does not get in or get it. Flame uses him to twist it, advance out. The team's gonna have to either help him or go towards Flame. Yeah, Stardock out of here. throws that ghost on, gets his speed reduced from Cloud Drake though. Sven Skaren tries to slow it. He says, leave me team. I am gonna go down, save yourselves, and... Got that down. If he gets caught by one more CC, they could look for the kill. Whoa, Hunter finds himself going in. They take down Pobelter. That's a lot of AoE that don't need in that fight. On TSM's side, do they chase Flame or do they go for the right side and the squishies? It's gonna be a Flame chase, knowing that GA is down. Exactly. It's gonna feel good. That's the double benefit of killing off someone like Flame. They get the GA, Bjergsen gets another. And this becomes this battle where one team gets vision up. Whoa! Haunts are going whoa, deep. Whoa, Haunts are didn't know his team would go to clear wards, possibly a lot of miscommunication. May have had the perfect target, but they are able to recuperate. This is what TSM is known for, these late game fights, making it work when it thinks when it looks like it won't. The inhibitor, they're running down, they're picking towards that. TSM will get the elder. Can they get back in time to defend this? And this is it's look here. Will be a risky exit for immortals, and they're gonna try to go to topside. This Round is really box. smart. Yep. Such nice use of that. Commit to it. He's coming from lane, so it won't be with a home guard. Sven is low. Good chains of corruption. They're on to Biofrost. Nethergrass hits him. He just explodes before Nethergrass can even end. Flames, Guardian Angel is back up here along with Han. Has his ultimate and the flash. Could look for a play. 
Oh, LA picking down. It's gonna be Sven Skarin in. It goes to Dardock. Immortals once again grab Baron. And they are going to be able to drop a few more after that. Cody Sun comes up with a kill for himself. And now it's going to be the fight in. Dardock doing what he can to stay alive. Flame has just about a sliver of mana, so he can't really crowd control. Cody comes back in. This is the auto attacks. If he can get them, Haunter slaps him down with the anchor. And he tosses it back over to Flame. Bjergsen trying to stay alive. The spell vamp comes through in the blue buff. And Cody Sun didn't use his heal there. He was trying to come up big. Didn't pull the heal. I'm not sure if it just came up after, but I think he should have just got out. He could have just based, but Pobelter is 1v2ing them in the base. Kills a Nexus turret, kills an inhibitor. Pobelter coming up huge while they're delaying, and that's probably why they made the call for Cody Sun to get in there. Pobe watch, they're making the call. Here he is, trying to end the game for his team. Make All right, depth charge on to Pobelter. Goes now to the rest on of the arrow. Outside. He steps up. He's going to be able to go in vault. No GA for him, though, after this. Just the Seraph's embrace for the shield, giving the team enough time to now fully open TSM's base. Sven Skarin hopping around to try and get some damage. Fed they back they on need Omar. to get out here, though. There's the TP from behind. This is going to be huge for TSM. They're oh, to here comes Monster lumbering into the fight. Misses on Ole. Turtle inside the base. Biofrost in front There's of him. It on the side. Shot the hits him with the cryptic gaze on the back, and it still does a huge amount of damage. TSM has been waiting for this fight, and they break Immortals clean open. Sends Garen over the wall. The slows from the void spikes, and they are going to get another kill for themselves. A double for Sven. And the base. Spawn to this, then move quickly towards the Baron or something. But Paul Meltzer may be caught out here. May have bitten off more than he can chew. Charge, Sarah's Immortals is rushing Baron. So he doesn't get knocked off. It's going to take him a little bit more time, but this is close. Turtle has no arrow to fire they to through. Kill this they and can then get see it out. maybe through the hawk shot. Bjergsen uses the quicksilver. Gets silenced after that. Very nicely done. They're going to stay in the pit. Again, Dardock may have played the competition. Flash. And they're going to get out a few. Flame wall there. Couldn't get out. Gives up his life and the GA. And it's going to be a massive respawn timer. Almost 70 seconds. Wow. But Immortals is trying to rush down three man the Elder Dragon, which TSM is not expecting this. They're not expecting this at all. Sven might be. He's making his way down the river as fast as possible. 47 HP. They've already done half, and he's halfway there. They're going to be able to tear this thing apart. Well, uh, wow. Mortals. Situation now on the bot. Team's got half health on that mid lane with a Siege minion. Elder almost well, expiring. Elder's almost about to expire, so they want to kind of put their foot down here. Mid gets taken down. They get a little in much better positioning. And Turtle looking for an arrow. They find Dardock. Dardock and they no burn ult. him down. No alt on the Ragnarok. One more hit. The poison's ticking. He's getting out with the heal. He's going to stay alive. They can't get him. Now Immortals has the chance to focus, but Flame gets taken down. The GA is gone from the failed flash. Bjergsen Monster crushing gets everyone. another shield as Bjergsen can stay on the back line and just fang the pain in to the entire Immortal squad. Dardock in the middle here is the one that could go down. He's going to keep running. Ole heads bot. What can TSM do after this? And they can look to push, they can look to try to uh, run all the way down and see what they can get done. But look at the mortals, ulting into the base. They're gonna, oh, go, to they're the gonna go They're gonna go They're gonna this. This the turtle is, is back, no, turtle is back. He should be able to do it. Look, Bjergsen doesn't even look phased right now. Turtle tries to get the hit. Sends Garen back as well. Dardock, very low house, so he's got the fast oh, out of it. They're able to cancel it. TSM can go down mid. They can look to try to get something done. They're TPing top lane as they already have minions there. Haunter is going to try to knock down at least this turn. We'll see how fast TSM can get up and if they can look oh. to end the game. Oh, he it might be out. The, the respawns are so long. This could be it. This is what happens when you get 50 minutes. All five members drop, and it can be a coast-to-coast -coast race for the opposing team, and that's TSM right now. They're going to go top They're lane. It's already end. open, and they will try to end this. It'll be flame up, but he's going to go down just as fast with probably Cody's son and the likes of Ole just after. Yeah, and I think this is game rib. I don't think there's anything they can do. Uh, Bjergsen and Wild Turtle have arrived. The first Nexus turret is down. Cody Sun's about to respond, but it's going to be a 2v5. The they second, must try to fight right now. Second Nexus turret goes down. The 80 carries. Cody Sun's there. The Nexus. 